Hello and welcome to 2 Minute Design, I'm Dage and today we're going to create this leaves text effect in Photoshop. Create a new document in Photoshop and let's pick a light green color as the foreground color. Click OK and then press Alt Backspace or Option Delete to fill the background. Activate the Type tool, choose a bold font, set the color to black. And let's write the letter A. Activate the Move tool and press Ctrl or Command T to free transform. Resize and reposition it and then hit Enter to confirm. In the Layers panel, let's decrease its opacity to 70%. Now click to activate the background layer, then drag a photo of leaves and drop it on the canvas. Let's resize and reposition it so that some leaves are coming out of the letter. Press Enter to confirm. Control or Command J to duplicate the layer and let's hide the bottom layer. Activate the Pen tool, make sure you set it to Path and use these settings and then start creating a path around each leaf that is coming out of the letter. But don't start from the edge, start from inside the letter to make it easier for us to create the shadows later on. And close the path just like that. I'll do that for the remaining leaves and by the way, if you don't know how to use the pen tool, go ahead and watch the video in the description. Or don't, I don't care. When you finish, hit Ctrl or Command Enter to create a selection out of the path and then click this button to add a layer mask. Hold down the Ctrl or Command key and click once on the thumbnail of the text layer to create a selection around it. Activate the bottom leaves layer and unhide it and then click here to add a layer mask. Drag the text layer and put it between the two leaf layers, set the opacity back to 100% and decrease the fill value all the way to 0%. Click this button to add a layer style and choose inner shadow. Choose a dark green color and play with these settings to achieve a paper cutout effect and then hit OK. Activate the top layer and click here to add a drop shadow under the leaves. Click OK and in the layers panel, right click on the drop shadow and choose create layer. Click OK and now the drop shadow is on its own layer. Activate it, hold down Ctrl or Command and click once on the thumbnail of the text layer to create a selection. Now hold down Alt or Option and then click here to add an inverted layer mask. And that's it. Awesome, isn't it? So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.